Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene and I bought more stuff. So I am currently standing on a table. Um, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should focus on like other things. Oh well. I think they're way more functional. today is going to be classroom setup day three as you can see we are still a mess but I brought some more stuff with me so today I went to Kohl's um, got Pete the cat some very very nice lady got him from the back I got a few things from the Target dollar spot nothing really too interesting did not find many erasers and I brought my library rug actually my husband brought my library rug in so I'm gonna roll that out over there which means I have to move all that stuff you know what I might not do that. And then I have this from Big Lots, um, mostly to hold scoop rockers, but I still haven't found scoop rockers, so who knows. And then just some stuff from Hobby Lobby that you'll see eventually, but let's, let's get started on this, baby. I want to update you on the computer table. Um, they brought me another black table like this one, thank goodness, and I'm just trying to figure out how I can fit three computers on this table, so... Mm, we'll see. Okay, so I think that's the best I'm going to do with the computers. Um, it's better than before for sure. And I got some stools from Target. So I'm going to open those and see if they are a good height for the computers. Legitimately, they are the perfect height for them. I think I sat at them and I feel okay so I'll have to see when they get in there if it's gonna be an okay height but I think it will be um, now I just have one extra that I have to think about what to do with so project number one I hope you can hear me over the wind but I am just going to spray paint these letters to spell choice um, in rose gold So uh, I know the right way to spray paint is in coats, but nobody has time for that. <laughs> so my dilemma is I really want to start getting things up on the walls, um, but I have so much stuff to put away. So I should start there. So this is my library rug. I love it. I have to move the carpet over just a little bit, but that's okay because if you can see, it's like just the right amount. So I'm going to go ahead, move these back over here and scoop my carpet down. All right, so I bought this shelf behind me for $15 off of Facebook Marketplace, and it was an awesome find. The only thing is, there's two versions of it, right? So Walmart sells a version, and then Target sells a version. Well, Target also sells these bins, um, and it turns out these bins don't fit 
in this shelf. This is the look that I was going for, so eventually. All right, so everything is not organized. I don't know where I was going with that, but everything has an almost home. Um, so before I start putting things up, let's do a little sweep of the room. Computer tables with the stools that fit perfectly. I am going to do a student work wall over there, I believe. Either over here or over here. I'm thinking over here if I can. That way when you walk in the door, it's the first thing you see. That was kind of my plan. Um, those are water bottle holders that I'm going to hang a little bit lower. Blank slate, blank slate, and messiness. All right. I think the first project that I'm going to do just really quickly is hang up some of these. They're from a calendar. Um, I sometimes save them from calendars because they're so pretty, but these little posters, um, just they really make no sense in the bathroom, but I was thinking it'll brighten it up, so let's see what it looks like. So I'm definitely going to do something else, but I mean it definitely adds <laughs> something to it. I want something positive over here. So some time has passed and in that time I was speaking with two really sweet second grade teachers but they did tell me expect my student numbers to go up which is really really good that I talked to them before I hung up some of the stuff I'm about to hang up um, as far as like displaying work and all of that fun stuff so I might have like 24 25 kids so I'm just gonna leave enough space for that many kids. <laughs> so I am currently standing on a table trying to figure out if I like this setup for my display wall. I think I'm gonna go with it. It's just a little more girly than I wanted. Oh well. <laughs> so originally I was going to hot glue these up here but I think what I'm gonna do also so I can kind of mix it around a little bit. I'm just going to use these sticky clips um, and that way whenever I have student work to display I can just slip it in the clip with the paper and it'll be easy to move. So these are those sticky clips I got off of Amazon and they come I think 30 to a pack so it should be a quick little setup. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I don't really love the florals as much as I thought I would, but it doesn't look bad. The sticky clips ended up doing really well. What I actually did was put the clip, that'll focus. What I did was I put the clip on top of the paper and the stickiness kind of hits the wall too, so I'll just slide the paper in and out whenever I'm displaying work. But here it is. Another thing about this wall is since I added enough for 24 students, um, I don't have enough room to do the paper flower display I was going to do. So I'm kind of thinking about another place. I'm thinking maybe the windows. I think that would still be really pretty. So, no idea. Okay. First time for everything. It's 2.30. So I think I'm gonna try to knock out a couple more projects. I need to get stuff on the walls to feel like I've done something. I don't know, I'm tired of just like moving things around. So I'm trying to break open this. I don't need to cut it probably. Um, these are sheet sets. I think it's just a twin size. And I liked the fabric. So I'm gonna cover my two bulletin boards with it as soon as I get it open. Um, I'm also thinking about where I want to hang the letters I got from Hobby Lobby. So I have big letters that I spray painted rose gold and it spells out choice. Um, I got that idea from the lettered classroom. I really really love it um, and she kind of talked about how it was like the center of everything she did um, was choice and I really really loved that. So. I stole it. Um, I also got letters from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you real fast. 
they look like this and they spell out be kind and um, yeah I just really liked them ready so I got them <laughs> all right these are the sheets I'm gonna probably I can't decide if I want to cut them first I think I'll try to staple them on and then cut them off just to make sure I have enough because I only bought one set and I don't know if they still sell them or not oh, I have a ton of stuff oh they're pillowcases let's get that done I have a couple of updates I did get my bulletin board backdrops up so there's one and there's two um, they aren't perfect that's okay and I did figure out the bins do actually fit the only thing is the textured ones are a little bit harder to shove in so these gray ones they actually do fit I hadn't tried them before it's these ones that have the extra texture that are hard really hard to get in and out so I don't know I think I'm just gonna work with it because it's not impossible they just might stick out a little bit but I think this piece is just so adorable and yeah this is where I'm gonna store some whole group supplies um, I've actually planned it out in my planner over here so I want to do uh, markers scrubbies from Dollar Tree um, dice and pencils in here and then in the bigger bins base 10 blocks counters maybe coin banks and um, maybe magnetic boards but I don't know if they'll fit Okay, so right now I'm thinking about a couple of things. The first one is where I want to hang my letters. I think I want to hang Be Kind above my front door, right there. And I think I want Choice, the letters, to be up here. Um, or I might flip it and do Choice above my front door. I don't think so. I think I want Choice to be on, where is it? this back wall. So I'm thinking I want Be Kind to be above this door and then my choice letters that are over here to be maybe just like centered on these windows. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't bring command strips. What am I gonna do? <laughs> and I did originally, I wanted this to be white shiplap. I just don't know how soon that's gonna happen. So yeah. So that was a huge fail. <laughs> um, I am going to have to, for sure, get command strips for these letters. I knew I would. I was just hoping I could just swing it with some hot glue. Nope. So I think I'm going to hang up some flowers, give this place a little life. Okay, super super cute I actually also used those sticky clips to hang these um, I can go a little closer and show you but these things guys are so useful um, and they are so quick too and they are removable I love that Okay, so super cute. I love it. I wish I had enough to kind of go all the way down there on the sides, but you know what? I'll take it. I absolutely love this. All right, next up is this very random find. Um, I'm looking. 
and I don't see a good place for it. I just wanted to like jazz up something. Guys, do you see that? That is a clip. We're gonna do that. Alright. Will it hold it? Yes, it will. Here we go, it has a home. <laughs> Alright, so I bet you guys are tired of seeing my finger. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just gonna keep that there until I find a better spot for it. Yeah, this is a really weird angle, but you're hanging on those hook boards underneath my whiteboard because I don't feel like moving any more furniture. So I kind of mapped out the flowers for above my door. If you saw how to design your classroom digitally, digitally, um, you know that I wanted flowers above my door on the outside. So it's kind of what we've got going on here. Um, I picked these up at I think Hobby Lobby and they're really pretty. I like them the way they are. I just can't decide if I want to use these flowers or not. Cause like I would, what I would do is I would take the top off just like that. Um, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And just use this and kind of put it there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Even though these stems, they're so beautiful. So maybe I won't do that. I do have other flowers um, left over from my wedding that are really big and beautiful. So I could put those. I just really like how big and white these flowers are. Hmm. There's so many decisions to make, guys. I don't want to make any of them. <laughs> All right, I just spent a good 40 minutes making this. It came out cute, but oh my gosh, wow. That was a lot of time. Um, I wanna hang it above my door, but I don't know how I'm gonna hang it. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I mean, it's really light. Um, I just don't know. Again, maybe like Command Velcro or something. I definitely can't like hot glue it up there even though I hot glued the whole thing together. Burnt myself like three times. Some good ones. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna hang it. Eventually. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on like other things. Oh well. Okay y'all, guess what I used to hang it. I'll give you a couple seconds. Sticky clips. So I'll try to show you what I did. Um, I wrapped pipe cleaner around the base and then used the sticky clips. And I don't know if it's gonna be here. Where is it? There it is. I don't know if it'll be here when I get back. But for now, did a really good job. I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay or hold up, but. We'll see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I'm convinced this place is just getting messier. Um, I think I'm making progress. I can't really tell though. Also, I think before I leave, it is, it's almost six o'clock guys. I am going to just put some crayons in some crayon boxes. I just need to get stuff organized and put away and I wanna feel like I've done stuff. <laughs> So I was going to do a time lapse, but then I figured I would just talk to you guys, so I hope that's okay. I've got three done so far, um, yeah. So I got this idea, I saw it on Pinterest, I know Pocketfold Primary made it popular, oh sorry, um, and I immediately wanted to do it because crayon boxes are the worst. Um, I have to like scrunch down so you guys can see me. But, here we go. The thing is, I think it would work better with a 12 pack of crayons. Um, I specifically remember Pocket Full of Primary saying it fits a 24 pack of crayons perfectly, which is very true. Because even for me, trying to get these in here, 
you have to like jiggle them and wiggle them to sit right so that you can close the top and lock it. Um, and that's not a big deal, it just takes some getting used to, but I do think it would work better with a 12 pack of crayons, but I do like it. I like it a lot. So that's what I'm doing. Some things that I kind of learned today. Setting up display walls is really hard when you're the only one here because you can't tell if things are straight. You have to constantly like back up and look at things. And I guess that goes with everything. Like it's frustrating to be by yourself and have to adjust things like 10,000 times just because no one else is here to tell you if it's straight. <laughs> um, and I'm the kind of person who needs things to be straight, you know? So that was really hard. Um, I do think those sticky clips are gonna be able to hold it. Sorry, it's over there. Um, but we'll see. So far, that's another thing. If you are a new teacher or just a teacher, I would recommend going to Amazon and picking up like 10 packs of sticky clips. They come 32 a pack. They come 32 a pack. Um, but I'm using them for like everything. Like even this back here, it was so easy and they're not like command hook strong and they're made for, I guess, just holding paper. Um, so it's a really thin little, like a command hook would be like this. And a sticky clip is more like this. So it's a thinner space to put things in. But, I mean, if you can make it work, I say try it. Um, I love them so much. And I literally am going to go order more whenever I have more money. <laughs> right now, I really don't need to buy anything else as, except those freaking target mini erasers i need a ton of those <laughs> oh i met um two new teachers today they were both second grade teachers and one of them actually was putting up um some white shiplap on her walls and i asked her where she got it she said amazon and i really again don't want to get it from amazon somebody had ooh, had messaged me on Instagram and told me about I think it's called United Education or something like that um, they sell it for really cheap I think it's like $6.99 and you get a ton more in your roll I also saw Walmart had it listed not as walmart.com but as like a seller through Walmart you guys know how that works just really debating whether or not I want to spend money on it because I know like a white shiplap accent wall would be so awesome I just don't want to spend the money on it I guess so I lost a crayon oh, where it went okay found it oh it's the new one Cray Crayola named um their new blue Lutiful that's so cute um what was I talking about oh the shiplap wall yeah so I don't it's not really a priority for me I would love it um uh, but yeah <laughs> it's probably wait okay See, like I said, like if you just throw them in, they just kind of stack up. You have to like jiggle them and do it like that. But whatever, it works. Let's see what else? Oh no! Do you see that in the door? Wait, but there, it's falling. I better go get it. Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram give you all of these really cool, fun, organizational ideas, and they don't tell you how long these things take. They take forever, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just slow. All right, so um, yeah, at some point um, I am planning on getting some sort of table caddies. Michaels has these really long, uh, they're like wooden trays that I think would be really good so everything could just sit up. I don't know. I just hate I hate the way caddies look. As useful as they are, they're all in one. I don't know. I might end up getting caddies. I just thought it would be cool if I could do something different. I don't know. Um, there's just, I have so many things. To think about. I'm looking over at my to-do list on my board and I crossed off maybe like two things today so <sighs> not gonna lie though it it is really 
starting to feel like a classroom. And I've been thinking a lot about how the first day and the first week of school are gonna look. And I don't know, I just, I'm really hoping I can be good about procedures. Oh gosh. Because that's what everybody says. Everybody says, go over your procedures, go over your procedures, make sure they know it, do it a hundred times. And I'm just hoping that we can nail it, you know? Like, I just want to nail it. <laughs> I just want to be the best. I just found like a random crayon sitting on the table that I didn't realize I didn't put in a package. And the convenient part about these is not only are they more durable than the boxes, but I can very quickly just see like which box was missing that color. Like, that is so convenient to me. Also, I mentioned in my back to school haul, these also worked as crayon holders. Um, one teacher on Instagram told me that she used them. And I'm gonna go ahead and compare the two for you, I guess really quickly since I'm here doing this, so. I'm just gonna take my little babies and put them in here. Guys, I feel kind of bad because seeing these in here, I almost like it better. It almost seems easier to me to do this. It's just the fact that with first graders, like, this seems easier in a way. And these come through to a pack at Dollar Tree. I guess I maybe should have mentioned that. Um, these are two to a pack for a dollar. These are three to a pack for a dollar. There is way more room in here um, for the 24 pack of crayons. And it's a very simple snap on lid. I really do like this. I'm considering changing it. I just have all of those that I just did. I don't know guys because originally I got these because I don't know I was thinking about using them for magnetic letters or uh, glue sponges but I don't know these hold crayons really well this is a weird thing to have a debate with yourself over I'm wondering like how durable they're gonna be I think they're gonna be fine the tops come off a little bit easier for little hands y'all uh, I don't know what to do Now I'm like wanting to see these again. I don't know. Like part of me loves these more aesthetically. All right guys, I'm switching them. I'm doing it. It's just, they're so much easier, especially, I know I keep saying it, but especially for younger grades, they're so much easier. The space you have in this container left over is way more functional. So if they wanted to, um, they could just like do this and take an orange crayon out. Um, with the other ones, you really do, you have to dump the crayons out of the container. So I'm not going to use these for my crayons. I'm going to use these. And even though they're not as pretty, I think they're way more functional. So that's what I've decided. Um, and that actually works out perfectly because I was gonna go pick up some more of these for counters for math, the two-sided counters, and now I can just use these because they'll be fine for the counters. Um, so yeah, if you're shopping for crayon boxes um, and you wanna do the 12 count of crayons, this would be great. If you wanna do 24 pack, I really recommend these. They're three for a dollar too, so more bang for your buck. All right, are y'all ready for the end of day three tour? Because we're gonna do it. All right, so this still needs to go above my door. That needs to go above my door. These cubbies will have name tags. Um, I'm putting this tray here for now. This will go, I think, outside. This little bin will hold folders and just hang right here like that. Um, I put my little mini eraser holders that's what I'm calling them officially over there for now I don't know where they're gonna live but that's there we have this shelf that I super 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 in am in love with um, so this bin is holding markers I prefer these for kids I just do <laughs> I think the bigger ones they don't write as nice and it's harder to read and I hate it so small markers um, 
erasers or scrubbies from Dollar Tree. I might put them together. I probably will, and I don't know what I'll put in this one. I have pencils in here and post-its, and this is just quick access. I do plan on students having their own, and I might not even keep all of these here. I just put them there for now. In this one, we have base 10 blocks, which I still need to label. I decided that if I wanted the kids to grab them, I don't even have to take it all the way out since it's kind of hard to pull. I'll just have them grab it like that and then push it in. Over here will be our counters. Um, you just saw me talk about the crayons, so that's what those are going to be used for, two-sided counters. What I'm hoping is that this can be clipboards and this can be whiteboards, but I don't know if they're going to fit. So we'll see about that. If not, I have these bins from Big Lots and they can do that same purpose. I also put my fidget toys in a little bin right there just so I could hand them out if I needed to. <sighs> We've got our computers here, my clock, which has this really cool wood grain on it. Don't know if you care, but I love it. <laughs> I put my hello mat right here. I plan on hanging a little plant. Um, this took forever. Got my little driftwood holder here for, I think this is gonna be the writing station. This is word work. Um, I'm gonna print a bunch of my word work activities. I have them in my TPT store. I think I have like almost 40 and you know, anytime I make more, you'll get them for free. This is my be kind sign that I want to go right here, but I need a better way to hang it. <laughs> And these are my choice letters that I painted. Um, I think I want them to go right here. I don't know, there's just no good spot because every like middle is taken. Like, I can't put it in the middle there. I can't put it in the middle there because my ABC line is gonna go here. I just don't know. Like, I want it to be in a very prominent spot. I'm just not sure. Like, that's too hidden. Maybe under or above the clock. I don't know. I'm really thinking right there. <laughs> um, what else? I put these branches here. I don't know why. We'll see. This is going to be my zen zone. I went ahead and just put this tray I got on the extra stool I had from my computers. I don't know. I'm just putting things places right now to see how I like it. And then this will be right here so the kids can come up and use it. This needs a home. I'm thinking it'll hold maybe my fridge if I ever get one. This is just, we're not gonna talk about this. I also forgot these in my haul. They're from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm just gonna use them for signs. Also, I broke my scissors, <laughs> so that's super safe. Um, Everything is just everywhere right now. Got my library rug. I'm in love with it. <sighs> I just need my shelves, which I'll be ordering from Ikea soon, I hope. And then I got this bin right here for my scoop rockers. I'm not sure if I'll ever find them. So for now, it's holding those trays. <laughs> and once I get scoop rockers, the trays will have another home. <laughs> so. That's what we've got right now. All of this is gonna go. And these middle tables are still a mess. I tried really hard to knock one thing out, so I got the crayons done, that's good. Eventually I can just put all of these into my containers and put them away, but for now, they're all here. All right, you guys, that's it for classroom setup day three. I hope you found this entertaining somewhat. I am just a first year teacher trying to get a room set up and this is the best I can do right now. So everything is a mess, but that's okay. It's starting to feel like my classroom and that makes me happy. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out 
so, so much. And just know that if you want to reach me, I'm on Instagram at Miss Calls Campers. I'm really, really active on there. It's probably the easiest way to reach me. If you have any tips or ideas, leave them down below so others can see them. And again, I hope you're having an amazing summer. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. And just know that if you want to reach me, I'm on Instagram at Miss Calls Campers. I'm really, really active on there. It's probably the easiest way to reach me. If you have any tips or ideas, leave them down below so others can see them. And again, I hope you're having an amazing summer.